This is the prettiest garland that I have ever made in my entire life. I'm so excited to walk you through how to make this Valentine's Day. It's Glitterville inspired, but it's really my own take. I, it just kind of has the same kind of fun colors and gold accents and it reminded me of their holly garland that they came out with for Christmas. They, I think they have a fall one too. So I've already got more ideas, but it helped inspire me. And so I want to help inspire you as well. And I hope this garland does. It was super inexpensive. I will link below what I used through out this project. It was time consuming because this one was 12 feet long. <laughs> so I wanted to, to hit each end on the floor of my main window in my bedroom. If you are a big fan, you do know that I love having garlands hit the floor on each side. It's just a, a thing. It, it's just, it just really makes a statement, especially with something that is handmade. So I intentionally made this a longer project and a bigger project than it needed to be. Um, I did a six foot one for Christmas. If you haven't seen that DIY garland video, make sure to tune in. That one's just shorter, has different colors, but very similar thing, <laughs> very similar process and same things that I'm doing. So I'm really excited to share this with you all. I know a lot of you have been asking for it. Apologies for not getting it out sooner to you, but I'm going to be also doing an Easter version. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe and like these videos if you're enjoying them. Leave me comments if you have questions as you're working on this project too. I feel like I've become a pro since this is a 12 foot one and it's my second one I've done. So fun, such a gorgeous statement piece and such a lovely addition to your Valentine's Day decor. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for tuning in. Starting this project off, we're going to be stenciling our hearts. I'm only doing one shape, but it is going to be in two different sizes. I used a cookie cutter. I believe I got this from Target during Valentine's Day. And uh, this is for the larger hearts. I did most of the larger hearts in the lighter shade of pastel pink. And that is because I wanted that to be more of the dominant color throughout the garland. So whatever colors you want to choose, feel free. I did only select two different shades of pink and you can, I wouldn't do a whole lot of different shades, but just shades of whatever that you think is going to complement your room and your other decor and make sure to evenly distribute the colors through whatever shapes that you decide to use. If you want to use hearts, I would definitely recommend picking a dominant color that you want to pop more and use that for the larger, whatever you're gonna stencil as the larger shape. And when we're done with stenciling, we're gonna start to cut our hearts out. And I did make this garland very long, so there are a lot of hearts that I needed to cut out for this 12 foot garland. I used 20 out of 25 sheets alone just for the pastel color but that is because those were the larger hearts. So make sure you spread this step in particular out over a couple of days. You have to be kind to your hands when you're doing such a labor intensive project like this one. So get some help, but if you don't have help like I didn't, you can definitely just spread this out and take your time with cutting these out because you wanna make sure to cut them out as straight as you can, but we are gonna be coloring over them and doing some other fun stuff. So don't be too much of a perfectionist.
after we're done cutting all of our hearts out and stacking them all up together we're going to be folding them in half so this is just going to kind of create dimension on the garland itself and it does kind of help create a guide as you're coloring in the hearts with your gold paint pen uh, so just fold them all in half you don't have to do a perfect job because we kind of refold them when we're going to be gluing them on and fluff them back up but and you're going to be pressing down on them again when you're going to be drawing on them but this at least gives that initial fold for the dimension of the garland This is definitely my favorite part of this project because it's where you can kind of be the most free and creative and that's coloring in with the gold paint pen on each heart. So you can, I kind of stick to some general themes when I'm doing the shapes but this one ended up being so long that i kind of just started doing whatever towards the end and doing some x's and o's and it, I, it started looking really cool so i definitely like to do multiple of the same style just so that you can see that symmetry throughout the garland but you don't want to do the same drawings throughout the each heart you want to definitely switch it up so that you make it unique and each heart almost stand out as its own little masterpiece.
And now we're ready to start gluing on our hearts. So you're gonna wanna just make sure that the entire jute rope is fully covered. And the best way to start doing that when you're putting the hearts on is to use that center when you have folded the heart in half, that center, that pointy center in the middle, put some glue all down that edge, stick it fully on the rope, and then just start to cluster all of the hearts kind of going in an upward direction. They are all in the same direction and it just kind of gives them this cloud floaty effect. And you're gonna wanna make sure also to alternate your colors. I did cluster a lot of the light pink together since that was the dominant color that I was looking for and I complemented it with the darker shade pink hearts throughout as well I just kind of weave those through and you just want to make sure that you're clustering the hearts well and putting enough glue so that it's not too heavy from all of the glue but you want to make sure that the hearts are all individually stuck on there and when you're putting on the next heart that's a really good way to recover certain areas with glue just to make sure everything is sticking properly to the jute garland rope but the glue holds really well on this rope so it's it's a good base
Now we're ready to add some flair to our garlands and this kind of creates another element of sparkle, which I really like. I like putting ornaments onto these garlands just because they make everything else pop. And I used three different boxes from Home Goods of Martha Stewart Valentine's Day heart-shaped ornaments in shades of pinks and red. And I like these ones because they're kind of flat, so they were able to stick into the heart paper shapes really well. They didn't look bulky, they just kind of seamlessly flow throughout the entire garland. So these are just evenly kind of clustered throughout and I think it looks really nice and pairs with the hearts really well. And as a finishing touch on this one, I decided to put some lace ribbon and I also just, I kind of just clustered a couple different pieces of ribbon together and tied it on the end. I did a long uh, ties, so it just looks really elegant and it just kind of is the perfect little end cap on each end and I just love it. I think it all comes together so pretty.
have to hear some feedback and thoughts. I want to know what everyone thinks. This was such a special piece and I, once I put it up in the room, it just, I, I didn't even know what it looked like. It didn't feel right without it being there before. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you again for tuning in. Thank you to all my current subscribers and thank you to all my future subscribers because I just know a whole bunch of you are gonna hit that easy little button pretty soon here because there's Easter stuff coming up. You don't wanna miss out. Thanks again from Fab Little Dish. Enjoy crafting and stay lovely, my friends. Ciao.